okay so in the previous session we discussed the split join in this session we will discuss split for each now uh, split for each sub processing is used when we need to launch the same process on a list okay you want to launch the same process multiple time multiple time for a list all right so typical example would be like we discussed in the last session that someone has ordered list of items and you got to dispatch those right ship those those shipping will be launched the same shipping process will be launched multiple time based on the number of items so the essential here is that you need a list to iterate over okay for you need a list to iterate over so um in this case i'm going to add a card page list okay so we will have more than one card and we will launch the print card for every card okay so first i need to have the card card type or something is stored somewhere so what i'll do is i'll quickly create a data type to define card <coughs> this is organization so only that and i'll add name i'll mm -hmm. add type i will name type and uh, no that's okay so just need a reference data for this one so name type i think that should be enough for the moment okay all right so now I need to use it in the work class. So I will create a property, page list property of the card type. Property. So card list. This is going to be page list of type CB data card. Right now um, I need to provide the entry in this card right so um what i'll do i will do that from the back end okay so um right after submission of the form okay so let me open this flow i'll use the data transform to fill the entry in the card list Action after the form is submitted, post processing, um, add card. I'll just add them manually, okay, using data transform. So, for the page list, we have append and map to it will append in the page list, card list every time a new page and name let's say um, platinum and type is debit card debit i'll add one more one more entry and this time it's going to be coral credit card okay so two two items will be created in the page list now let's go to the fulfillment and i'm going to replace this one now okay the split join but i will have a split for each so again advanced shape split for each so it will ask me to provide the process first it will ask me to provide the page list property that will have on which we will have to uh, run this flow multiple time then which flow the print card 
second. Class is okay. Actually, there's one thing I need to check. Save. All right. So the flow that we want to run should be in the class of the property. Got it? This should be in the class of the property. On which you are going to iterate over. All right. So I'll just save as this one. Okay. CD data. What is called CD data card. Okay, it doesn't have the flow action that has to be saved as well. Same with the eleven. Because the context is of the property, so the flow that you can launch is from the property only. Card with data class, just for our reference, okay? Putting that message out there. This is saved, this is saved. Should be okay, save. Let's come back to here, save this. All right, now, let me close this all and create a new case. So we have two cards getting added using the data transform, right? So as soon as I'll submit this, those pro that property should have two card. Let's see on the clipboard. No, we added that um, data transform on the form submission. So card list, it has two cards. David, Cora. Great, okay. Approve it. And then we should see two print cards. Okay. One for each. That is why it's split for each. Alright, so that's the second type of sub processing that we do in Pega. The third one being a spin off. <coughs> Sorry. In certain situation, we want to initialize a process and forget about that. Okay. Uh, we don't have to worry about whether that process is being completed or not. Right. Things like that. So if you look at the split, I mean, we looked in the previous session. We looked at the split, uh, um, <coughs> split join. Uh, we had to specify the condition to join. Here too, we have to specify the condition to join. Right. The third type of the flow is different. That is that you initialize that and forget about your case will move. Your case will not halt on that say. Okay, so let's try that one. That's normal sub process. Okay. This is normal sub process. But we will specify that setting here. So a split off flow, a spin off flow. Okay, so this case will not wait here. I will just launch the dispatch one here. Submit this and let's test this one. So 
So see here, it's waiting for the processes to complete. In the previous session too, we saw when we configured a split uh, join, it was waiting for the processes to complete. Let's see what happens here when we have um, uh, a spin off. So after this, the spin off should be created. Okay. Unable to unlock this one. One second. see it did not wait for that flow but that flow must exist all right so that flow uh, basically that we launched dispatch checkbook this must be assigned to this user so if you log in in this with this user it's sbs704 this should have an assignment for that let's see I mean, I can view here itself. One, two, no assignment, one second. Let me, let me check right here itself, okay. So assignment for a work basket are class uh, or instances of assign hyphen work list, okay. So I can see all the assignment here. Oh, okay. One more thing. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. One more thing. If you are launching spin off cases, there's a setting on the case when you resolve it. Delete open assignment. That was an assignment which was open spin off, right? We should not be deleting that. Got it? Otherwise, spin off, even though it is it's initialized from this case only, right? If you resolve the case because it wasn't waiting for it, of course it moved ahead, right? And it went ahead to resolve the case. This setting caused that assignment to be deleted. So let's just test it now one more time. And then the last approval. See, this is there. The case is resolved. Right? Assignment is, is still there. Okay, we'll have to check this operator's profile, but that's okay. See, M2, there is an assignment. If you refresh here, the instances, see, dispatch for this case, even though the case is resolved. So that's the spin off. You don't wait for the process to complete. You can go ahead, carry on with your case processing, and even if that's getting resolved, that's okay as well. So that's the split um, spin-off. So we covered split for each and spin-off in this session.